Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. I just wanted to go through our North Stadium Way project with you. We're kind of buttoned up. We have a little bit of beatback stuff to do, but for now, we're pretty much completed. Today, we got the rest of our Regal Ideas crystal rail installed. We put in some coastal curved glass that has a low um, iron content, so it lights up beautifully. And there's just some features I wanna go over with you and kind of share the most technical parts of this deck and maybe answer a couple questions of why we did what we did or, or explain some things to you. Uh, if you like what you see or get this out of the way, click that subscribe button, please. Uh, we really want to build our audience on YouTube. And if you're so compelled, if you wanna be notified every time that we put out new content, click that bell icon as well. I really appreciate it. Thanks for following along. Leave your comments below. I try to get back to everybody. I've been a little slow on YouTube and I apologize for that. But uh, let's check this thing out. All right, so primarily the decking that was installed on this deck is made by a company called TimberTech. And this is a PVC decking in their AZEC line. It has a 50 year warranty. And the colors we chose for this particular deck are English Walnut and Dark Hickory. So the way we installed these deck boards, we used a product by Camo that's a hidden clip and basically it locks in between the deck boards and you face screw it down, it locks the decking down. And then in other parts of the deck, we use a product by Facet Master called Cortex. Cortex is a hidden plugging system. If you hashtag Cortex, you'll find all kinds of stuff about it. We put out quite a bit of information about um, Cortex as well. Go to our Instagram page, you can check that out. Probably one of the most prominent features on this deck is something I call deck board bending. You can also hashtag deck board bending and it's when we create all kinds of different curves and shapes and designs in your deck and gives it a lot of flow. So I'm gonna direct the camera down to this curved board right here. And so you'll see in a lot of our builds that we're creating curved surface borders and that kind of thing. And the reason we do that is if you come over here, you'll see there's one that goes right through the middle of the deck, all right? And the reason we do that is because I like to break, I like to have clean breaks on all my decks. So I don't like to have random patterns of decking uh, that, that are butt joining everywhere. So I always try to make an intentional break in the deck. So when I have an over, over a 20 foot span, decking only comes 20 feet long. So I'm creating patterns in the deck, in the surface of the deck, which takes about six times longer to build than it does if you just lay a straight deck in. But I don't know, I think it looks really nice. You know, you can justify it or you don't have to, you know, you say, man, that's a lot of time, doctor. I don't know if I would do that. Well, you know, every to each his own. I'm an artist first, a deck builder second. So it's got to look just right for me to put my stamp of approval on it. So basically from the house, this is 30 feet from the house all the way to out here. So I had to come up with a way that I could intentionally break all the lines. It's a lot better for the health of the frame of the deck and for the health of the deck boards themselves if you have an intentional break where you give it some room to move, expand and contract because PVC decking will move. With hot and cold, it will sh it'll move back and forth and expand and contract. So we wanna have everything expand and contract on the same line versus all over the deck, okay? So as you come over here, probably one of the coolest features of the deck is we have curved stairs and then we have a curved bench. So these stairs, so this is like a curved herringbone pattern. Uh, you see it, you know, in different, instead of doing miters, I like to do herringbones and butt joints and stuff because miters will come apart and this won't. So in our corners, we did cascading miters where we heated up the board, we, we cut 90% through the plank, then we heated up the corner, and then we glued it together so that these miters will stay tight. And then we, we put an expansion joint six inches in and away from each piece so that the, the expansion contraction happens here instead of here, because this will fall apart. This will look this way continuously. So eventually, I designed this section of the deck to have a fire pit right here, okay? We don't have one at this minute, but eventually there will be one here. And then that's what this bench is all about is so they can come down here, have a seat, roast some marshmallows, make some s'mores or whatever they wanna do or just enjoy the fire and this killer view. Uh, there's a hot tub installation over here. Um, eventually we're, we might add some steps and whatnot, but we didn't do it at this time because we're under a time crunch. So we got that buttoned up. 
And then one of the features of the deck, which you can't really see right now until it's dark, is this Regal Ideas Crystal Rail. Now this stuff is amazing. It's one of the most impressive railing products I've ever seen. So to top it off, I had to go one step further. I found a company called Coastal Curved Glass out of Vancouver, Canada, and had them bend glass to match the curve of my deck. And then I had it done in a low iron, so it matched the Regal Ideas glass, so everything lights up at night. And it's gonna be beautiful, which we're gonna hang out and try to get a couple night shots for you to show you what this railing really looks like when it's dark. All right, so a little bit more about Crystal Rail. Basically what Crystal Rail is, it's made by a company called Regal Ideas. They have these egg-shaped pods that uh, are really strong. They, they withhold 800 pounds of force per set of, per pair of pods, okay? So once they're installed, this becomes a very stiff. I'm pushing pretty good on that. So yeah, it's a little bit flexible but you're not gonna fall off of this. It's, it's meant to be leaned on, you can hang out on it. And inside of the pod, there is an LED that is attached in, in line to a 24 volt transformer. That's what powers your lights, that's what makes the glass shine. Between that and having a low lead or low iron glass, that's what will allow the light to transfer through the glass. So once the pods are cinched, we can level it this way. There's also an elevation, so you can level the glass this way a little bit as well. And once those are cinched, then there's just these uh, pieces right here that kind of hold it together to meet your code requirement. So once those are in, these get um, epoxied in through these little holes, and these will stay rigid and hold the glass nice and tight. So that's basically all there is to this product. It's real simple, it's probably one of the more expensive products on the market, but it's also the most beautiful. You can see right through it during the day and wait till you see it at night. It is incredible. Another cool feature on this deck is the in-light lighting, uh, low voltage LED. The landscapers went ahead and tied all these into the landscape lighting, so it's on at dark and off when it gets light out. Uh, these are have a five-year warranty, really great product, inlight.com. Uh, and another feature we did was in the, on the front of these stairs, we used the new TimberTech multi-width, the Azek multi-width decking as part of our fascia. And then we did this little skirt detail underneath here and then tied it off with another piece down below. with the way this turned out. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, again, please click that subscribe button and click that bell icon if you wanna be notified every time we're putting out new content. Thanks for watching and have a great day.